This is Azimut's brand new S10. It's an absolutely huge and absolutely gorgeous top of the range sports cruiser with some amazing Italian style. Now we're at the Cam Boat Show, there's a lot of people here at the moment as you can see, but we're gonna try and get a yacht tour of this. We're gonna do the best we can because this is a fascinating boat. So uh, let's head on and we'll see what we can get. Okay, here we go. Now the first thing to mention is a rather clever beach club arrangement because rather than the lift platform, what this one does is this whole area here will actually hinge like this flat and that makes a massive deck out the back and of course there is a garage in there as well but with this up as it is at the moment the access is here so let's head on board and see if we can get a tour okay here we go first thing to greet us is this lovely social area at the back of the boat this one's just been out for a sea trial so it's not why some of the cushions have perhaps fallen over in the wind but uh, it certainly gives you a good idea of what you've got and of course this then is the area that caters for it so that's out here in the sunshine and then there's another area further up you can see under the shelter of this of this roof section and so that's giving you another great area just there and i love some of the details like look the way they've done this that's amazing okay we're going to head on in and we're going to see what we can get now one thing they've done which is particularly interesting is they've got the doors here as you'd expect but then you'll see that the floor continues through and there is another set of doors then at the back just here and what that means is that you can choose to have this as part of the cockpit so it opens all the way up through or you can close these doors off here and then have that extending the saloon so it's a sort of dual purpose area depending on which doors you have shut depends on whether that's an extension of the saloon or an extension of the cockpit and again you've got this wonderful lining on the ceiling which just looks really cool okay let's head on a bit further okay there's a massive area here no problem so this is into the saloon proper and look how much space there is i mean it is a big boat so you expect a lot of space but you certainly get it right let's head on a bit further while well, the going is good now up here is the helm and they've developed a special glass cockpit for this so this is all one massive screen all the way across here and you can configure this of course however you want at the minute it's showing depth or the engine instrumentation and the chart because you've got radar and all sorts of things on there and then more screens down here so, uh, so that's pretty innovative for this boat also in this area side access door but also a heads on the main deck so that then means that if you want to nip to the loo you're not having to go downstairs and find a toilet it's right there and if you stand here we can look back again look at that that is pretty impressive see what a big boat it is cool let's head on down well we've got a clear run so steps down and that swings us around and we will go forwards first of all I think because this will take us up to the VIP guest cabin up here in the band they put an offset bed in here so that uh, it really makes the most of this space it feels like a really square room rather than having the bed pushed into the front and that of course with this size of boat it's the kind of thing that you can do this is of course all storage all the way around here and there's drawers and then over here is the ensuite to this cabin so it has just been out for sea trial which is why all the soaps and things are in the sink rather than stood up and then we'll head on back a little bit further So you've got another guest cabin here and again as you'd expect on this size of boat it is of course en suite so we can put some lights on there we go that's more like it love the finishings that they put in here the wooden blinds very classy and then if we stand up here we get a better view of this cabin thusly good let's carry on I've been trying to film this boat, it's my third attempt, so I am going to crack on while the going is good. Another guest cabin. Really generous again. And that is all storage across on that side. And as you'd expect, very, very nice ensuite. Love the way they've done this with the light wood and then the pale colours on the top. That looks great. That is faucets and of course, a separate shower stall. Okay, let's head on back again. And we'll see if we can find the master cabin. 
<laughs> this is impressive. Now this is a spectacular cabin. How often do you see a bed that's not against any walls? It's completely freestanding in the middle of the room. That is impressive. This is all storage at the back. There's a lovely little dressing table. There's TV built into that mirror so you can sit in bed and watch television if you want to. And you've got this great little area down here to sit and relax. More storage, of course. But it just, with that central bed, it just feels such a roomy space. That's magnificent. Let's head on around and we will take a look at the ensuite for this cabin. So much design gone into this. It really is every inch of it designed beautifully. Again, these things like the woodwork, the different colours, the air conditioning vents built in, these little pin lights. Beautiful. Really good. Ah, so this is a walk in wardrobe and of course storage as well. So it's like a little dressing room, really, which means that the ensuite then is over here. Yeah, here we go. So this has a little toilet compartment just here. There's a door so you can close this off. And if we can find some lights. There we go. Check that out. Very, very nice. Rainfall shower, of course. Let's back right into here. Get a decent view of it. Wonderful. Okay, let's see what else we can see while the going is good. You get a real impression of the length of this boat, actually. When you're down here and you come out of here, you can see right up through the boat. It's pretty big. Okay, let's go back up these steps and we'll take a look at the outside areas. So, let's head on back through here. We've got a few people on, so I shall keep the camera pointed down a little bit. Give people their privacy. Okay, so, deck areas. This is a really nice walk around with this big surround as you go through here. And then we'll head up forward. There's a hose pipe up here. I'm guessing they're cleaning, having been out on trials, but we'll soon find out. Yep, they work, but nobody here now. Perfect. So, huge entertaining area up in the bow. You've got the sunbeds here, of course. And then these are great seating areas around the front where you've got a really nice entertaining area, social area. Fantastic. And look at this deck gear. Beautifully done. Let's go right to the front and take a look back. Okay, here we go. That is a sexy boat. Awesome. Now, it is a sports cruiser, so it's very much the low, sleek, high performance styling. However, because it is such a big boat, they have found space for a small flybridge up on the top. It's almost invisible, but uh, nonetheless, it's there. So let's go and take a look at it. So let's head on back down and try and keep other people out of the video if I can, just for their own privacy. Uh, the stairway is at the back. And let's head on up. Look at these carbon fibre antique treads here. And they've got lighting in them as well. Really stunning. Okay, right up onto the top. Now, as I say, this is a sports cruiser, so the flybridge is much smaller than it would be on a flybridge boat of this size because they kept it all super low profile and sleek, but it's actually still a great area. There's a wet bar over on this side. There's masses of seating all the way around. And the helm is up here, so you've got an outside driving position if you want it. This is all sunbathing next to the helm. And then you've got the glass cockpit system again, and a terrific view out across the front of the boat of the Cambo Show. Excellent. What else have we got? Let's see if we can get into the engine room. I reckon that's gonna be pretty spectacular. Okay, let's go back down. Now the engines are accessed from just inside the cabin, so we'll head on round, down through here, back inside, and there's a doorway just over here. So in fact, there are a few things down here tucked away. First of all, the galley area, you can just see this massive fridge freezer and you've got the cooking equipment over here by Mila and uh, sinks and so on and in fact what they've done then is they put a dumb waiter in so you can send that straight on up there's a little mess area just here and if we head on back round see what we can find ah that's a little utility area so the laundry facilities are in there another fridge and so on more laundry facilities at the top it's back out of there Head across the other side, that's a two berth crew cabin. And then just ahead of that is 
toilet. And that has a shower that pulls out from the taps, so you can shower in here as well. And then ahead of that, there is another crew cabin. And that one has its own ensuite, it's fun to light switch. There we go. And then the final thing to find is the engines themselves. Here we go. Generators running in here and fans because this boat has just been out. But hopefully you can hear me okay. And I can tell you that these are a pair of MTU engines that are over two and a half thousand horsepower each. That's giving this boat, and you've got to remember this is a, that's about a hundred feet. This is giving these giving this boat 35 knots, so it really does shift courtesy of these massive MTU engines. What else we've got in here? Generators outboard there. This thing here is the tender garage, and that down there is a sea keeper, so that is a gyroscopic stabiliser to keep the boat steady. And there's another generator running over there. So a little bit noisy in here, but you get the idea. Another access area there that takes you straight out into the cockpit if needed. We're not going to linger in here because it's pretty noisy, so let's come back out. Close that back over. And head on back upstairs. So we can find somewhere to finish off. Hi. Thank you. And that, as they say, is that. That is the Azimut Grande S10. That is a magnificent piece of kit. Hope you enjoyed that yacht tour. We'll hopefully catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.